Now, on this channel, we show the best of the best when it comes to builds. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to just take what you have and work with it. And that's exactly what this car is basically. This is a i20 1.4 diesel and the owner has converted this thing into a proper autocross monster and this has been done in conjunction with engineering exponents and i'm going to tell you how you can do this and what all has been done to this car Now let me first tell you what autocross is. Basically autocross is a tight little circuit which is done on like a flat surface. It's done in many cities across India. It's been done in Pune, it's been done in Bangalore and it's heavily done in cities like Delhi as well. So this thing has been specifically set up to attack those sort of tracks. And let me just tell you what all has been done to it. So first of all, it's sitting on Cobra lowering springs so that the center of gravity drops down and the car is nice and low and stable when you're taking a corner. Apart from that, it has custom stiffened front dampers done by engineering exponent themselves in-house. The rear dampers are from a Hyundai Verna. So there's a little bit of uh, parts bin uh, switchery going on in this car. It has a brake pad upgrade from Ferrodo so that the braking performance is also there when you slam on the brakes while taking a corner. Now, one of the most important things about autocross is that you need to have tons of grip. So, the owner has gone up and upsized the wheels and tyres. So, first of all, these are some meaty looking front tyres, 195 sections and you have these XXR wheels inside which are finished in bronze, which is a really nice combo to look at. Apart from that, the whole car, well, it's an i20 not anything out there it's not anything flashy but this generation of i20 i think looks really nice it looks very sporty it looks like a kdm car i would say and of course over here in the front since racing is a very brutal sport sometimes your bumper is going to take a beating and so that you don't lose time in autocross events you have these bumper clips so you just unhook them and basically the whole front bumper gets off you can fit a new one or you can just run without it whatever you want to do now, if you remember, the Hyundai Creta used to come with a 1.4 litre turbo diesel engine and basically this is the same engine in this car but except it's in a lighter and more compact chassis and I'm very excited to drive it. And again, this thing has been boosted up to stage 2 and let me just run you through all of the mods. Now, it has been fitted with a custom engineering exponent intercooler upgrade and the plumbing all around it has been done by engineering exponent. Uh, apart from that, you have a custom downpipe and a low decibel muffler at the end which has again been crafted by engineering exponent in their workshop and overall when you take all of the upgrades like even the BMC air filter this thing is now producing 130 bhp and 330 newton meters of torque to the front wheels whereas the stock car used to make only 89 bhp so let's just hop in and take it out for a drive so I have personally never done autocross in my life, so I'm not really sure what to expect. But what I can tell you that this car's focus isn't really on power. It's more of something that is made for the track and the track specifically. Yes, of course, it has a 40 bhp jump in its power gains. But again, speed isn't everything. Handling matters as well. And this thing is going to be focused completely on that aspect. First of all, I can tell you that it's extremely stiff. Extremely stiff. Like, I have sat in some st stiff cars, but none of those stiff cars have been anything below like a A45 or a Porsche Boxster. And those are proper thoroughbred sports cars, whereas this thing, this little hatchback, well, it's an eco box, to be very frank. And, well, the handling, I can't really test on this particular road. So, this car isn't really meant about the power figures. It's more of something that's made particularly for the track. Although that being said, it has a 40 bhp jump over a stock i20 1.4 diesel and get it into its boost range and step on the throttle, it properly takes off and third gear is where it really shines. It just pulls super hard. 
and unfortunately i'm not going to be able to test the real handling potential of this car but i have some benchmarks that i can share with you so the owner is a regular in the autocross scene over here in bangalore he's gone to multiple autocross events over the years uh, mainly at mmrt at uh, miko kartopia which is a local go kart uh, track over here in bangalore and also at aruwani which is where we uh, tested the porsche and the inrc rally polo and one thing that he told me which really blew my mind is that at miko kartopia he took this car for an autocross event so when he took this car to that event he was going against some proper bit of kit stuff like bmw m5 competitions other sports cars polos loras everything basically and one thing that he told me was this thing was able to beat a bmw m5 competition stage 1 at miko kartopia and that just proves that power and speed isn't everything balance setup suspension braking all of that counts when you're actually building a car that is meant for the track now granted something like an m5 competition would absolutely demolish this thing on a longer circuit like mmrt or bic or something like that but for us normal people autocross events are one of the best ways to get into the motorsport scene because they're relatively cheap and and cars like this the i20 1.4 turbo diesel polos and your normal eco hatchbacks are the cars that actually shine over there many a times zens swifts are the cars that actually dominate those events and the fact that engineering exponents and this owner who owns the i20 are pushing for hyundai to be something that is more accepted into the car scene is really interesting because the owner is not a normal person he's a proper car guy so do not doubt his enthusiasm because he's owning an i20 and doing stuff to an i20 1.4 diesel but over here on this highway it has some small little curves uh, u turns that we're taking this thing is very direct and very precise i'm not going to say that the steering has a lot of feedback and in fact it has a little dead spot over here in the middle but apart from that if you can overlook those problems this thing just grips and goes it's not squealing for traction at all and the brakes are like something that like it's basically like throwing an anchor out of the window that's how hardcore these brakes are the gearbox also is pretty slick i like the way the shifter feels the throws are nice and short and the positioning of the gearbox is pretty nice and the cool thing about the gearbox is, is that it's actually a 6 speed so when you want this car to chill out you know cruise around town put it in 6 which is an overdrive gear basically and it will give you great fuel economy because at the end it's still a diesel and it's going to cruise at nice 80 90 or 100 kilometers an hour no problem whatsoever and again this car setup is pretty aggressive but still the owner is able to daily drive it every day which is goes to show that if you know how to drive lower cars uh, these performance cars and everything driving these cars on a daily basis is really not a problem it's just the amount of commitment that you have towards the car now in the interior to support the autocross setup of this car you have this custom racing bucket seat which has these fat bolsters over here on the side and these shoulder supports over here and you have a normal seat belt it's not a uh, four point racing harness but if you want to install on i'm pretty sure you can do it because it has these two holes over here in the middle apart from that well it's an i20 in the inside the steering wheel looks pretty much like any other hyundai from this same era but the owner has done some other changes as well you have a boost cage over here which is completely functional and you have this kenwood infotainment system in the middle so let's say you too have a hyundai i20 1.4 crdi at home and you want to make something that can handle and compete at autocross event around your city well engineering exponent have been kind enough and have given a complete breakdown of this particular car's modulus the awesome thing is that engineering exponent themselves make most of the things that are needed to do this build so that they can calibrate and customize the car to your need and the cool part is it being a hyundai maintenance and servicing isn't an issue with most garages all over india being able to work on it plus it being a eco hatch even if you break something or crash your car during an autocross event the bumpers and body parts aren't going to break your bank now this i20 is a great example of how you don't need a proper tuner car to make something fun even if you have a normal polo swift i20 baleno whatever do some good mods and make it into a b road bomber or an autocross monster thank you so much for watching this video let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this i20 1.4 turbo diesel autocross build 
I do think it's a very interesting little build. And this build shows that you don't have to have the best car around to make it into a tuner car or a performance car. Just work with what you have and take the correct calls and make it into a tasteful little build. That's what I would like to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.